Welcome, this is Anubis, also known as Lee. And this is Lyrical, also known as Mommy. And today we're actually going to be taking a look at the July Zample Box in July. Yes, <laughs> we continued from our last one because Lee was telling me a story about somebody had posted something on mm. one of his websites. I forget his name, but it's the, uh, the CEO from um, Zample Box that left a, a message on the last video that he was looking forward to us seeing the new Zample Box, that there was some kind of a change to it, so... Kind of excited to take a look at that. So yeah, as soon as ahead. I heard that, I was like, "Oh, we gotta keep on filming." <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. You wanna go for it? July's <laughs> sample box. It's a little tighter, I noticed. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is different. What is it? It's a menu. Oh. They have a menu that. for the July. So they show the actual flavors and everything in there? Any the information on what they says, actually are? Um, it, it says the name and, and it the says real, the flavor. The real flavors. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Some of these look really good. Strawberry daiquiri. I like that. Golf clap for that one. Yes. Um, melon and lychee. I've never had lychee. It's a fruit. I've heard of it, but I've never yeah. had it. Yeah. I don't. What's a horchata? Is it Excuse a... you. <laughs> a <trap. laughs> a this is a unique twist on classic horchata. We might have to look that one. We're up. in the look of what the heck a horchata is. Oh God! Guess what's in here again? Carnivore. No. Oh. Okay. Bus pass. Really? Ass is in here again. We got we got two asses now. <sighs> okay. Backstop, which is guava, orange, and pineapple pomegranate green tea strawberry we really shouldn't be looking at it. oh my gosh now we're not gonna be able to like guess <laughs> that's okay because i still don't know what any of those names are to go with the flavors that's a that's a really nice feature i like that good job sample box yay it's gonna make my life a lot easier what is this uh they they, Ooh, been, they have a rating card yeah they were um i don't know if i have any nearby they were at, they had a it's a it was it wasn't very nice looking but they had something like that that the idea was that you were supposed to kind of rate your um your experience and like set them on there but well it says spread the love and vape for free refer three friends and your next box is on us mm, that's nice so get started now at samplebox.com slash customer slash refer and then you can rate your samples okay yeah then the box itself is different. You know, usually they have the little green baggies. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this. That's very nice. Look at that. They are individually packaged in foam. Two layers. Very nice. Yeah. I knew, I knew something was off when I uh, picked up the box and it wasn't rattling like it normally does. <laughs> Hopefully that'll help stop First them from leaking. First one I picked up. Buzz pass. <laughs> We're not smelling that one. Bye, Buzz Pass. Bye. You've been revoked. <laughs> page six. Oh. And then it says page six. Is that the name of it? I guess it must be. Wait, we had to look at our thing. Page six. Yes, that's the name of it. Page six. Now, they don't put... Um, Blueprint looks to be the uh, uh, yes, brand. Right. Okay, yes. And it says Blueprint who manufactures in Torrance, California. Okay. It actually has the milligrams, the VG, everything listed. Does and it? the cost. Like if you wanted to buy it individually. Okay. I'm, assume, I'm certainly hoping that ours aren't going to... I'm seeing a lot of 60s and 50s on here. I'm really hoping that's not accurate because this is supposed to be a... Um, um, a dripper box. I'll have to double check and make sure that they've got me listed as a dripper box still. Because uh, higher VG is, is smoother when we're dripping. So hopefully that's not correct. Now where <laughs> do you see that at? Like this one here says 80, but this says 60, 60, 60, 60. That's 50, all 50 60. over here. And so which one do you want it at? So typically when you drip you want it to be 80 or higher and there's even ones that are supposedly 100 percent vg they're actually still cut because 100 percent vegetable glycerin is thick 
It's okay. a very, very thick. Uh, it would never wick. Um, but I'll have to, um, I'll, I'll take a look after we're done with the video, but we're, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be signed up for something called the Dripper Box, which is all high VG okay. juices. And those are normal tank juices. If, the, if these are actually like 60s and stuff, I won't be happy with that. <laughs> But it is good that they have them listed regardless. Yeah, yeah. All right, so moving on. Let's see if I can crack this open. Take a smell. So this one is the page six, which is raspberry citrus green tea. What are you saying? Now I can kind of smell those. Sorry. No, not necessarily <laughs> a bad thing. I was going to say uh, carpet that you had sprinkled smell good stuff on before a vacuum. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, now I gotta smell it. I smell raspberry. Well, of course you do. <laughs> now that I know it, I, I smell raspberry, citrus, and green tea. <laughs> well, it's weird because I was actively smelling it as you were saying what they were, uh -huh. and I was picking them up yeah. as you were saying that. Right. I'm all, yeah, my, my first impression. That smells it, really good. It's, it does smell good, it, mm -hmm. but it smelled a little bit like that stuff that we, we put on the carpet. We've got pets. You've got to put something down on the carpet before you yeah. vacuum to kind of <clears throat> deal I don't smell that at all. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. <laughs> I won't like this time. I won't cheat. You're going to be looking back there. <laughs> it is um, okay. is Low? Is that the name of it? It just says low it's and a, it has a key. key on it, but... The low key, low key, Loki from the Avengers. <laughs> oh yes. I think it's citrusy. I think that's what that is. Like a. F it smells kind of like one of those uh, girly, like mixed drinks, uh, almost like a. Um, uh, I want to say like a peach with, uh, what are, what are those ones with the tequila in it? The iced, the crushed ice. I don't drink. <laughs> margarita, like a, like a peach margarita. Something like that. Maybe not necessarily peach, but something like that. Like a fruit. All right, now we got to look. All right. Is there one called Loki? UG. <laughs> What's the? Oh, it does have a UG on here. Sweet pomegranate. Oh, Loki is the name of the brand. UG, which I didn't know what that was, is Ugg. actually the name Ugg. Ugg, too much. <laughs> and it's sweet pomegranate. I don't smell pomegranate. You want to try it again? I just smelled like a citrus. I'm not big on pomegranates, so I'm not quite sure what pomegranate would smell like. Really? I, I, I buy them once in a while, not too terribly often. The real fruit or the drink? I get the actual fruit. Yeah. I don't do either. Some, we'll have to buy some pomegranates later. <laughs> I bought like a pomegranate drink that was supposed to be healthy. I'm always trying like, I'll be healthy for like two seconds, so I'll buy like a pomegranate drink. I took one sip. It was kind of bitterish, so I gave it to Julie and she loved it. Mm. So she's healthy. I'm not apparently. Uh, oh, <laughs> you remember those letters? Relevant. 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 Yeah. Relevant. With no. No consonants. No consonants. Or, no or vowels. vowels. No vowels. All consonant. No vowels. See, um, we we don't do the English. That's yeah. not us. Nope. I don't speak no English. <laughs> we like that English round here. So this is called backstop. Re okay. Relevant what the heck did I have last time? I already vaped. Well, it. we kept gone. calling it relevant, but it that was actually the that name was of the, the brand. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember what the flavor of the last one was. It was some kind of fruit. I don't know. Like, it's okay. very it's a little pinkish. Yeah, it does look pinkish. Mm. That's <laughs> Smells like hairspray to me. Okay. Like wet hair with hairspray in it. You're right. Tell me that doesn't smell yeah, like Yeah, it. it does. Where you at? Backstop? Backstop. Guava, orange, and pineapple. Nope. <laughs> Maybe slightly orange. I don't smell the pineapple at all. 
So I smelled citrus on the other one that was pomegranate. I don't smell any citrus on this, really. Maybe a slight. I really can't smell anything other than, like, wet hair. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Human hair, not dog hair, right? Human hair. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Legit. We've had a good couple, I think, three legits so far, or two legits so far. Mm -hmm. And this one has an ace on it, and then it says a pound sign. All in, all in. All underscore n. Yeah, is that the name of it? Like a hashtag yes, that's kind of thing. yes, like pound signed all in. Isn't okay. that like a a poker term? All in. I'm like you're going all in. That smells good. Don't have any clue what the smell is, but I really like I'll, the smell. I'll take good smell at least. Yeah. It's got a fruity smell of some kind, but what? sort of smells like that other one that was like no I had a hundred different fruits in it. I agree. It smells a lot like that one, actually. Mm-hmm. Guess what it is? Uh, a blender of fruit. <laughs> fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? Hey, we're getting good. <laughs> I'll, I'll give that one a. We're going to say that's a, a positive identification, right yes, there. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's a woman. I was trying to figure out what that picture was. It's a woman sideways. Oh, that's uh, same as that. Same one. Okay, so same maker. That's the brand. Blue. I think. Blueprint. Yeah. Is the name of the brand. And then it was over near the girl. Page, page six. six. Where we had we were at page eight or something. Page six. Page six. Page six. Three is the same. So blueprint. Get, does that mean we got two page sixes? Blueprint. Yeah, page six. Okay, well, hold on. I'm supposed to get 11 separate flavors. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They've got a list of me having 11 unique flavors. But Do they smell the same? Maybe there's something we're missing because, you know, that's... It's entirely possible. This smells the same. So, did they, did they miss something? We'll have to see if they missed something in here because... Unless they gave me a different number of bottles... Blueprint today. Today, yep, yeah, everything's the same. It even smells the same. Hmm. It looks the same. All right. Well, let's All see, right. What, see what we got. Wonder what we're missing. <laughs> That's what I'm wonder, I mean, I just counted. I mean, there's there's eleven flavors. Listen. Low right. key. That's the name of the brand again. This time it's called Hush. No, there's not. Okay. Coconut? It almost smells like a macaroon. I smell coconut and something fruity. Like an undertone of something. Melon or something. Which one was it? Hush? Strawberries and cream? How the? <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't smell it. I, I smell. I can kind of smell a bit of a. I, mean, I, I was smelling something straw, like fruity. Uh, I didn't think it was uh, quite as bitter as something as like a, a strawberry. It's more like a melony kind of smell. Yeah. To me, but I swear, I, there's. I think you're right about the coconut smell. Yeah, I I still smell the coconut. <laughs> you're okay. All right. This one is. Block Party, A-V-E, is that the name of the company? Ave? Usually that has only one. Oh yeah, well it's, it says the location, it's from Los Angeles, so it's got to be the brand name. And of course for some ungodly reason they've got some upside down text on the bottom. <laughs> huh, wonder what this says. Oh no. <laughs> I guess Block Party must be the flavor. It's a Block Party. I, uh, don't... From our hood to yours. From our hood to yours. See, when I think of a block party, I think of stuff like hot dogs and hamburgers. and. Well, apparently, it's, they're saying that this is that they must stuff. be from the hood. What, 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 what's a block party like in the hood? Can anybody tell me? 
I smell fruit. <laughs> Fresh fruit from California. I mean, I, I agree. I smell something, some sort of fruitiness, but it's got another scent to it. Something I can't. Block party is. Here we go. Rainbow sherbet? Well, that might be the other thing I was smelling, but maybe. So rainbow you know, sherbet actually, is orange. It smells like rainbow sherbet now. Lemon. Of course, I'm talking does. No, what is a rainbow sherbet? It's got the orange and the red, which it's is like a green. raspberry. It's got a green. A lime. It's got. A, I mean, it's a bunch of different colors. I haven't had rainbow sherbet since. Pineapple. I think the last time I had rainbow sherbet papap was in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Oh my god. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> like twenty years or something. More. Yeah, I guess it does now that. Now that I know. Now that you've read it. <laughs> I don't know why it says block party. Uh -uh. Another one of those names uh, I don't quite get. I guess D2. If you were for something I cheap. think that's the brand, right? D2. We, we've had a, at least one D2 before. Uh, I think it's actually D squared is, is the actual name brand. Butternuts with a Z. Butternuts. Like Butternut butternut squash? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of when I hear that. It's one of those cookie ones. It smells cookie-ish. Like, Do you smell cookie? Like peanut butter, maybe? I, I think it smells a little bit like a peanut butter to me. Butternuts? Maybe. Well, let's see. Butternuts... Oh, do you see butternut? Oh, here it is. Creamy butterscotch and hazelnut. Oh, yeah. So the butterscotch might be what I was picking up on. Well, now, now that I've seen the flavor, um, that it smells not like hazelnuts, like the uh, cream spread type stuff, but like the coffee. Hazelnut mm, coffee. Like a, yeah, and I love a hazelnut coffee. Which is, is weird because... I drank that pretty often too, and I didn't pick up on that at all. I think it's the butterscotch overpowering that it a bit. overpowers it, but um, I bet it's going to taste good. May not need my morning coffee. <laughs> well, I'm still going to need my normal, my morning coffee. Okay, so our new thing is uh, putting caffeine into vape. Hey, I'd be down for it. Okay, and then that way you don't have to have your coffee. You can have your nicotine and your caffeine. You're set for the day. Get a hell of a buzz. Ooh, I just got done vaping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I was about to open it. Okay, so source code. And then, I don't know what the hell this says. It's a backwards. Like a JLS? But it's a backwards C, like L, Let's and then either an S or a 5. See if I can find DLS. I see a oh, D it's an incomplete D. They didn't put the back side they on it. They didn't put the back side of the D. Put the back on the fucking D. <laughs> Don't confuse the mommy. <laughs> I'm getting another cookie smell, like a. I don't like cookies. An ox basin cookie. But there's all. something else with it. I can't quite. Maybe like a cream, like cookies and cream. That smells like the um, Teddy Grahams again. Is that what it smells? That's what I smell. No, the Teddy Grahams to me smelled like ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> this smells a lot like the one I had uh, before. The oh, like a different brand of one. cookies. Uh, unique twist on the classic. Oh, the horchata thing. You know, um, we have got to look up horchata. I think I had a, a flavor quite a while back. You grabbing your phone? Yep, I'm going to Google. I had a flavor a long time ago that was some kind of um, like Mexican dessert. I wonder if that was a horchata. It was. It was like a um, cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon pastry, Mexican pastry or something like that. Or well, it's something that you cook or make. It says a horchata recipe, a refreshing Mexican drink with rice, milk, vanilla, and cinnamon. I got cinnamon right. Yeah, so it's, it is a, um, a milky, so maybe, I don't know. 
rice, milk, vanilla, and cinnamon. That's a horchata. Well, the vanilla might be where I was getting the um, kind of cookie type thing, because I'm sure Teddy Grahams are like a vanilla cookie with cinnamon. Yeah. It smells like horchata. <gasps> <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> This one, this that's our last one, so we're gonna have to go through and figure out what we get owed. Really? <laughs> that's our last one. Is that one? That's one of our. That's the one I'm smoking right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Eleven slots. we're supposed to get, but I'm not. There's not. That'll make the tenth one up here. Something's not up here. <laughs> two, four. Six. Six, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, you threw that one. Oh, that's right. We got a we got a duplicate in there. We'd have to rewind that. Ooh. Um. What the? Arizla, rum da da. <laughs> so it wasn't just me. Rum da da. I see rum dada. Rum dada. Rum dada? Rum dada. <laughs> I guess uh, Arisla must be the, uh, assuming I'm even saying Yeah, it's right. uh, uh, the company out of Long Beach, Arisla. Very uh, rainbowy looking. Yes. Um, hmm. I right. thought I was just misreading it. Sure, let's see what it is. Oh. Mm. This is like a uh, somebody who's tried to make like a fruit smoothie type of thing, and it went horribly wrong. <laughs> I cheated already. Did you? Uh -huh. Of course you did. Bullshit. It smells like that rainbow sherbet. <laughs> it smells more like the rainbow sherbet than yeah. the rainbow sherbet did. All right. So <laughs> you know what I didn't see? I had, I don't recall us having Mile High Club. No. So, sample box, you guys better do a little better quality checking on here. You took the time to print off a menu. You put my name on the menu. And uh, you gave us a duplicate of page six. And you didn't send me Mile High Club. And this is not the first time that I've had a duplicate. So, I want, it kind of makes me wonder what flavors I've missed now in the past. We're disappointed. A little bit. So if you're going to send me uh, any duplicates, don't send me the shitty uh, smells like ass duplicate. <laughs> They'll have to watch our video, so then that... We'll have to keep up with the video, so then you know what we don't like. Yeah. All right, well... All right. That was it. That was kind of fun, because we actually had the list. Mm -hmm. I got to cheat. I like that. Um, it's gonna. It's left me with wanting that I'm going to have to now double-check to make sure that uh, my subscription didn't change with this new sample box. Mm -hmm. Because when you um, initially sign up for it, you, you can sign up for different types of boxes. Yeah. Mine was called the Dripper Box. And it was specifically higher VG juices mm -hmm. for dripping because it's more mild. Mm -hmm. And if they change that, then that's going to really affect whether or not I want to continue this relationship to be perfectly honest because i i'm not gonna be able to if these are like 60 vg and stuff i'm not gonna be able to drip these and i don't use tanks so we'll see how harsh they are <laughs> oh yeah all right well <laughs> i don't know what else to say <laughs> i'm, I'm, a, I'm thank a little... you for the changes yeah we uh... really enjoy the menu we would prefer to get what's on the menu and some of them smell pretty good, so we'll have to see from our next film. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, do a taste test here as soon as we can. So, happy vaping to y'all. Peace off.